Welcome back to the channel. Here. Today we drove to Frank's Slide to do a little dog grooming. Here I'm going to go through six of the factors that I decided to groom my own dog. First, I'm going to start off with the most, le the least important one, and that's just for me because of my dog. And that's, you know, it reduces stress by keeping her in a more familiar environment and. Uh, like with me rather than with a stranger. It's not very important to me because I think that Charity's acts really, really awesome when she's around other people, but uh, that's just for me. The second thing that I decided was uh, like bonding. You know, you kind of bond with your dog by spending some time and, you know, they feel like they're getting some affection when you're brushing them daily or doing stuff like that. Um, the third thing, obviously, the cost. You know, it costs money to take them, take them there. A big dog like this costs uh, eighty dollars for a blowout, and then another forty for a trim, and then twenty for the nails. So, you do the math every six weeks. Um, it is a little bit more inexpensive to do it yourself for free. So, the fourth thing I think is really important is when you are grooming them on a regular basis, you have first-hand knowledge. You can access uh, their skin, their coat, their ears, their nails, their teeth, and specifically their paws as well. So you can see signs that you can basically can either Google or uh, talk to your vet about, respond to whatever is happening. So the fifth thing is being able to customize the grooming experience according to her own needs, right? Like it's a little... Uh, we just had a cold snap here in Canada. I'm gonna leave her really long. Warmed up a little bit, so now I'm gonna trim her down. Get the, you know, it's gonna be a little wet out. I wanna get the under parts of her paw. The last and the, what I think is the most important factor that made me decide to groom my own dog is it's just convenient. I made sure that I got uh, cordless grooming supplies. So uh, when the weather's nice, I can just grab those things and go out for a walk and some part on the walk I'll just stop and I'll spend 20 to 30 minutes grooming her. I do that once a week and I never need to take her to a groomer. It's that easy. It's a lot more convenient for me to spend 20 minutes to 30 minutes a week rather than it takes me that long to drive her to the closest groomer anyways. And then I'd have to go pick her up and whatnot. So it is a lot more convenient. And of course we're going to after we get done this short little walk, we are gonna end up going for a nice big long walk. And we ended up <laughs> taking her to a beautiful lake. It's all frozen over. We spent about 45 minutes here at the lake. Just running on the ice, fetching the ball. Appreciate you coming along. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Catch you on the next one.